Hey everyone, so we're going to learn to make a dichotomous key today. I know you've watched um, a couple videos about what a dichotomous key is. You practice wacky people in which you name them based off a dichotomous key, but now you actually have to physically make a dichotomous key, which is a bit trickier than you think, but it isn't that tough if you follow some of the steps that I'm going to give you. So what we're going to start with is where to physically actually start. So to start the process, you and your group are going to start by looking at all the different animals that you have created. So remember, you have a food web on your page. We are going to make a dichotomous key of all the animals. So I'm going to do this process by using some made up animals that I have, for examples. Yes, they're a lot less than you have, but the process is still the same. So I'd like you to meet Triflip Mises, Osteofredoso, Flutterus monowilo, Alienato squishus, Unowilus anterus, Haborto stinkus, and last but not least, Octohorni. So these are my seven creatures that I'm going to be creating a dichotomous key for. So to start the process of a dichotomous key, you have to start by making your legend. Now, the best part about a dichotomous key, in my opinion, is that it's pretty easy to figure out how many steps you have based off of how many different species you have or animals. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So based on the fact that I have seven different organisms I'm going to have to put into a dichotomous key, I know that I will have six steps. So for however many animals you have on your poster, you're going to have one less step, if that makes sense. You'll see as I go through how this works. So I'm gonna start the process by looking at my animals and kind of coming up with one or two really big ideas that help me separate them out. So where am I starting? My first question, again, has to be based off of yes or no questions. I have to say, yes, it has it, or no, it does not have it. Dichotomous stands for die, two. So hence why there's two spaces for every question, because there's a yes and a no kind of idea. So looking at my animals, I'm going to right away pick out, because it's pretty easy to see, that I have some that have wheels and some that don't. So I'm going to start my dichotomous key by saying, Whatever animal I would like to name, does it have wheels for feet or no wheels for feet? So I'm going to start with the wheels for feet because it kind of separates out two really distinct ones right away for me. So when I said it has wheels for feet, I'm going to move on to question two because at this point in time, I can't actually physically say what my animal is. No wheels for feet, I'm going to push that down to question three. And I'm going to leave that until I'm done dealing with the two that have wheels. So now I'm going to move on to making my question for the two organisms that have wheels. So I'm going to look at them. I need to, in question two, come up with some sort of distinguishing feature that one has that the other doesn't. Now, some of you may be like, oh, that's tough. What are you going to use? Be careful that you don't use something that's too broad that the other animals would have too. For example, this guy has two eyes and this guy only has one. I could use that as a distinguishing feature, but at this point in time, it might be too broad that I'll get stuck later on. So I'm going to look for something really specific. I see it and it has to do with wings. So in question two, I say, does my organism have wings? If yes, it is actually Flutterus monowilo. That is different than this one. If it does not have wings, it's Unowilus anterus. So looking between the two, I found the distinguishing feature of wings. None of my other organisms seem to really have wings, so I feel like it's a pretty safe bet to use. And I can move on. So I've already, in my dichotomous key, actually named two of my species. But now I have to go back. I can't just go to question three. I have to remember what question three was asking. All right, no wheels for feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all the other organisms that have no wheels. So Triflip, Osteo, Alienato, Hoberto, and Octo. I again want to look at all of them and say, okay, what are some distinguishing features? This one's tough, but I think what I'm going to use is if you look at these guys up here, they have fins and flippers, and none of these guys do. 
They all look like feet or tentacles. So I'm going to use fins and flippers as my distinguishing factor. Again, it's broad enough that I'm not going to, I can't narrow this down right away, but it does have a distinguishing enough factor that it sets them apart from the other three left on my page. So I'm gonna start by trying to name these two by going to the section that says has fins or flippers. I have to do question four. Why? Because again, I haven't quite figured out how to name the two separately yet. So again, I'm gonna take the process of looking between the two and looking for distinguishing features. This one's tough. Um, I could go with fur, no fur, which might get me stuck here because none of these guys really have fur. I could go webbed feet over fins, teeth over no teeth. But I think what I'm actually going to do is try to be specific. And I know I'm not going to get caught in this one because I already have an idea for the next ones. I'm actually going to use their eyes. So if you look at this one, he has three eyes and he only has two. Now, again, last time I said maybe don't use eyes because it might be hard to distinguish, but we're getting closer to the end. So I feel like eyes are a really good choice because I probably won't need them for the other three. So I have question four is has two eyes. I'm being very specific. If it has two eyes, because I'm trying to just name between these two, I can say it's osteophredos. Oh. And if it has three eyes, it's triflip mesis. So again, four out of my seven are already named. I need to stop here and think, okay, what's my next step? We're gonna back up. We're gonna go back to question three B because I answered three A and I moved on to question four. Now I have to answer three B, no fins and flippers. You need to move to question five. So question five is now trying to name between these three right here. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to look at them and I'm going to try to come up with something that's specific but broad enough that separates them into two categories because I still have two questions left. So again, I could look, I could say tentacles, I could say antlers, uh, not antlers, antennas, I could say teeth to no teeth because these two have teeth but he does not. But I think in the end I'm going to go with the amount of arms, not that they have arms, but the amount. The amount is just broad enough that I can kind of split them into two groups, but I don't have to call them tentacles or feet. I can be very broad about it when I say arms. You could even say appendages if you wanted. So I'm gonna give 5A has lots of arms and 5B has four or less arms. Now, since I'm getting close to the end, because I'm trying to make this into two groups, I've now clumped these two together but I've left this guy on his own. And because I did, because he has lots of arms, he can right away be named as Octohorni. So I again have now named five out of my seven. I do have to go between the last two. So my last step is going question six, has four arms or less. What is a distinguishing feature for them? Well, for me, it was the fact that Horborto stinkus has hair and Alienato squishus doesn't. So, in Herborto Stinkus, I has lots of hair and he's named. In Alienato Squishus is no hair and he is named. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my dichotomous key. Now you'll see that there was a distinct thought process that went into it. Step one, write your name, legend for dichotomous key. Put down how many questions you need to have based on how many animals you have. Then start looking at your animals as a whole and try to categorize them into two very broad categories, okay? Whether that's amount of a feet, amount of arms, amount of eyes, does it have teeth, no teeth, horns, no horns, hair, no hair. It's gotta be something very big that splits it into two groups. Then you can start working your way through distinguishing out one group over the other. But be careful because you wanna make sure systematically it works. Remember, for every yes or no question you ask, you have to move yourself on to the next set of questions. So you would move on to question two. This one moves you on to question three because I'm separating out the groups. I hope this video helps when it comes to building your dichotomous key. Uh, Miss Edmondson is 100% there if you need her and Mr. Robinson definitely will help you as well. If you are very, very, very stuck, they are both going to be great assets to you. So please make sure you ask. Don't just assume that you figured it out. 
When you are done, give it to another group to try to make sure there's no mistakes. That way you know for sure that your dichotomous key is 100% correct.